Welcome to the Bullhead City Mayoral Candidates Forum. Okay, candidates, the next question is, although the state has recently passed a $10 million project to help with congestion on Highway 95, how do you plan to address the congestion problem and improve traffic flow on Highway 95? Ms. Girich. Thank you. So I'm just going to start with a couple of statistics for 2021. There were 1,220 traffic accidents in 2021, five of which were fatal. So I think one main thing is that we need to work with ADOT to get, or at least with um, our adjoining areas to make one speed limit. I think it's very hard for individuals to go from 40 miles to 45 miles to 55 for 50, um, especially when half the people are speeding down the road. We need to bring back traffic officers, and that starts with public safety. I think that when we sit there and we see decline in traffic stops, there's an issue, uh, especially because if I don't see an officer around, I'm not saying me, I'm saying hypothetically here. If I don't see an officer around, I'm going to go 55 and a 45. And most people will say, oh, well, it's only five miles over. Well, that five miles really makes a difference when you're on 40 mile an hour road. I think what we need to do is we need to make it one we need to make it one speed throughout. We need to work with our public safety department, our police department to bring back traffic, bring back traffic officers and uh, do a better job at recruiting. And I'm not saying that uh, the PD isn't doing a good job recruiting because I think that they're doing the best that they have with the resources that we they have, but what we need to do is we need to bring in a we need to bring in an actual recruitment department. So uh, as far as the $9.7 million, I think they did a great job uh, um, advocating for that money because uh, it, you know, it started at 25, then, you know, the negotiations dwindled down to 9.7. And if we have a $26 million reserve, I don't think it's necessarily, and uh, unless there's going to be some sort of pledge that that's going to actually happen, I don't want to promise money or promise things without utilizing and knowing that that's the r what we're actually going to be doing. So I think uh, traffic officers and I think that um, mitigating the speed changes is important. Thank you. Ms. Girich has her Juris Doctorate, was awarded honorary certification for over 160 hours of pro bono work in public service from the Mojave County Attorney's Office and works as a philanthropist and entrepreneur. She currently sits on the Colorado River Union High School District Governing Board. 